the Tech is sponsored by Tennessee Wesleyan University, now offering online degree completion programs in business and criminal justice. Apply online today. More people canceled cable and satellite TV services in the past year than ever before, and the number is expected to grow. One market research company predicts over 55 million people will cut the cable cord by next year, but recent events paint a not-so-rosy picture for streamers. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker explains. Oh, do you hear that? This cable and satellite company is asking cord cutters, do you miss me yet? With channels disappearing and prices rising, cutting the cable cord has changed a lot. If you cut the cord to save money, you may not be saving as much as you thought or even as you did. The two most popular live TV services, YouTube TV and Hulu, have both raised subscription prices by $10 a month, bringing the monthly total to $65. YouTube TV customers are seeing this crawl, saying they may lose 14 channels later this week after NBC Universal and YouTube TV can't agree on a new deal. On the positive side, YouTube TV is telling customers if those channels go away, the subscription price will drop by $10 a month. And if you're a YouTube TV customer, you can subscribe to Peacock for all of those channels for $5 a month. You can subscribe to channels or networks separately through their apps and streaming devices, but how much is convenience worth? If you use streaming services, you know how frustrating it is to quickly turn on a channel or find a show or browse since there are no channel numbers. And if you depend on separate TV apps for channels, you have to close one app to open another. And we should also mention with cable and satellite plans, there is a two-year commitment, whereas with streaming services, you can cancel any time, switch as often as you want to, many of them offer a free trial. The bottom line, the question of should I cut the cord is not as easy as it used to be. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Something to think about there. Well, another consideration before cutting the cord is what you have to pay for internet service. In some cases, cord cutters may find themselves paying about the same as they did before cutting cable or satellite.